In this video, I'll show you how to create a multi-step payment form on WordPress. Let's get straight into it. For example, here I've created a page and of course you'll add your copy around this payment form. But well, this is just my SEO service page, right? So our prospects can go ahead and fill in the information in which we require from them. They can select the service that they're interested in. Go ahead and fill in some extra details. Let's go ahead and click next. Here we've got a summary of the service in which we're currently offering and then some additional information on this page here. We can give them the option to pay using various different providers such as PayPal, Stripe, Braintree, Ideal and so on, right? And then once they're finished, they can just go ahead and click complete purchase. And that order has been received fine. They'll get an order confirmation email. And this is all powered by the all-in-one checkout plugin by AOVUP. So let's head over to AOVUP.com. Go ahead and download this particular plugin. You can get started for free as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the AOVUP checkout plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload and install that plugin. So we'll just go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. We'll also need to install the Wii commerce plugin as well and we need the WooCommerce plugin to be able to offer our prospects various different payment options so I'm going to create our payment form so we'll navigate over to AOVO and then AIO checkout we'll create a new payment form so I've already created one beforehand we can create multiple different payment forms as well so we just go ahead and click I'll create new checkout I'm going to select this single column layout here and I'm going to skip these tabs and I'm going to jump straight to fields because we want to configure our checkout form. So here we've got step one. We can click this plus button to add multiple steps. I'm just going to add two steps for this example, but again, just modify it to suit your requirement, right? We can rename the step name. So if we click this settings icon above this step um, label here, we can say, and let's edit this one. So we'll say final step. Right, so by default, we'll have a set of predefined fields such as billing, shipping, and so on. In this case, we don't need a shipping um, field, so we're just gonna hide this entire section. We'll hide the shipping section as well. We'll hide the shipping method section because it's not required. Um, order summary, we'll leave that, but we're gonna actually put this order summary on the last step, so we'll just drag and drop it over to the last step. Maybe we don't need a phone field, so we'll hide that and yeah, that looks fine. So we can create new sections and we can create new fields as well. To create a new section, we just click add new section here. I'm just going to delete this section and I'm going to add some fields onto this existing section here, this billing section. So I'm just going to add a simple text field. We'll drag it there and then we'll edit this field and we'll say something like, how did you find us or how did you hear about us, right? And our prospects can go ahead and fill in that field. Let's navigate over to step two and let's add a new section. So we'll add a new section here and then we'll add a multi select box in this new section. Right. And we'll say something like. OK, that's fine. Now we'll click on options and we'll add our options here so we can say search. This is the label and then we'll put search in lowercase for the value. Let's put um, SEM. We'll put SEM here and let's add one more and we'll say we'll just put email here all right so that looks good we can conditionally hide or display certain fields as well but that's for another video i'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to utilize conditional fields so let's go ahead and x this off we can rename our section name as well so here it says new section we can say something like about you and let's x that off let's rename this billing section as well let's just say general info all right, we'll exit stuff as well. Then we'll navigate over to settings and we can enable this checkout form. We can give it a name it's just for internal purposes. So I'm going to say SEO form two because this is the second one I'm creating. I've already created one beforehand. So we can rename our complete order button. So we can say something like pay now or just name it whatever you want, right? And we can automatically close this payment form after X amount of number of orders or even after a specific date. We can enable these other features as well, right? But again, that's for another video. Okay, so currently we've got our basic multi-step checkout form set up, right? Now we want to add the payment component to it. And to do that, we'll navigate over to products and then we'll click add products. I've already created a product beforehand. In your case, you can just click add new and then product and then we can go ahead and add let's say SEM for example right then we'll add the price or maybe SEM is 79 is 997 and we can just hit publish and then essentially here we can go ahead and 
search for that particular product and this will automatically be added to this payment form right okay so now we can actually click save changes we can customize the thank you page as well but again that's for another video i'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to customize the thank you page okay so let's head over to our general dashboard area so we've got two ways in how we can embed this payment form onto our page the first method is we can click on this action icon here and we can click get short code that's been copied fine now let's add a new page we'll just click add and then page let's give our page a name so let's say seo and then we can just paste our short code here the other way to add our payment form to this page is we can click this plus we can click add block and then we can search for aio and then we can click on this aio checkout block here right and then we can select the form for example we can say seo form 2 and this will automatically load this form onto this page so i'm going to delete this block since we've used this short code method Right, let's add some basic copy as well. Let's say that's our description, right? We can just hit publish and let's view the page. Okay, and here we've got our multi-step form. So let's click next. Well, let's go back. Let's fill in this form and then we'll click next. All right, so we've got our order summary here. It's letting us know this SEM service is 997. That's what we're paying for. We've got some extra fields we need to fill in, right? And then here we can choose from the payment methods that you've enabled this checkout form, right? So in this case, it's just check payment enable. We can click pay and this will redirect us to our thank you page, All right? So order received just fine. Now let's quickly have a look at how you'd actually add a different payment method to this particular form. So we'll head back over to our dashboard and then we'll navigate over to WooCommerce and then settings and then payments. And then from here, we'll see a list of all the different payment methods that we've got on this particular site, right? So we can enable or disable them. We can click on this link here, which will take us over to the WooCommerce marketplace. And then from there, we can download any payment options we need, right? Or we can just head over to plugins and then add new. And then from here, we can search for our payment methods, right? So for example, we can say Stripe, okay? And we can install this Stripe plugin for WooCommerce, right? 